Hi everybody, it's Jenny, and today I'm super excited to share some sneak peeks for the upcoming release at Missing Stamps. For my card today, I'm going to be using some new additions to the Magic Collection, starting with this stamp set here called Potions Class. This stamp set is full of potion making images as well as awesome coordinating sentiments. And I'll also be using this new scene die called Castle Arches, which coordinates perfectly with the Magic Collection, but can also be used in a bunch of other ways as well. So to get started on my card today, I'm going to go ahead and start stamping out several of the images onto some 80 pound Nina cardstock. And once I have a nice crisp impression, I'm going to go ahead and just trim down my cardstock and then go ahead and color in my images with some Copic markers. After I have all my images colored in, I'm going to grab the coordinating dies for the stamp set and trim out each of my images. Next up, I'm going to bring in the scene die and just start playing around with my image placement. I'm going to use some wire snips to detach those window frames from the center of the die and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it out of some cream colored cardstock. I'm going to start doing some ink blending so I'm going to use some Distress Oxide in the color Hickory Smoke just to give that a base layer on this piece that's going to make up the floor. Next up, I'm going to bring in the Perspective Floor Stencil, and I'm going to also use some Black Soot and Walnut Stain Distress Oxides to make this look like a worn, tiled floor. I did bring in some Ground Espresso as well and just added that to the mix. And because my scene is taking place in a potions class, I assumed there would be a lot of spills on the floor, so I decided to add some black splatter with some acrylic paint. For my background layer that's going to go behind my die cut arches, I'm going to bring in another piece of cream colored cardstock. And with a large blending brush, I'm going to use some frayed burlap and brushed corduroy distress oxides and just give that a bit of a splotchy blend across the cardstock to look like a dingy castle wall. And then I'm going to do some tone on tone ink blending through the brick stencil just to add the impression of bricks without drawing too much attention to the background. Once I have my background layer completed, I just started laying out the pieces I had done so far just to get an idea of how everything was looking. And with my potion bottle shelves, I wanted to put those in the background as well, but the white border kind of stuck out too much. So I just took some Copic markers and tried to match my ink blending the best I could and just colored in that outline. Next up, I moved on to the ink blending of the arches and the columns, and I started with some old paper, Distress Oxide. And then I'm going to use a smaller blending brush just to blend the edges with some frayed burlap.
Once all my pieces were complete, I went ahead and decided on a final layout. And once I had everything in place, I knew I wanted to add some extra dimension to my scene. So I went ahead and cut out the Castle Arches scene die from some foam and went ahead and popped up some of the layers. I ended up just popping up the outer frame as well as the frontmost arches and the floor and then left the back arches level with the card front. Next, I went ahead and glued everything down with some liquid glue. For my sentiment, I'm going to heat emboss that onto some black cardstock with some white detail embossing powder. And I'm just going to use some anti-static powder and my Versamark ink to add that to the cardstock. Then I'm going to sprinkle on the embossing powder and melt that with my heat tool. Once the sentiment is all nice and melted, I'm going to go ahead and trim that out with my scissors. And to attach the sentiment to the card front, I'm just going to bring in a piece of double-sided tape. And for the final step, I'm going to go ahead and add my card front to a card base. Here is a close up of my finished card. This stamp set and scene die are super fun together, but I can see so many possibilities for each of them on their own as well. And you can look forward to these goodies as well as several more coming to the Missing Stamps website on February 3rd at 8 a.m. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!